Hello everyone, this is Low Flying Goose, and before the break, I told Dub that I'm going to put his face in the ground and he's going to smell <laughs> the roses. And uh, he has an ageless entity out. I have two Spine Thopters, a Porcelain Legionnaire, an Aether Addict, and a Grand Architect. <gasps> if I have more creatures, it'd be more fun. Alright. Um, pay attention to videos, they're cool. Alright. So it is my pre-combat main phase on turn 7, let's say. I'm going to pay 3 mana for another Aether Addict. Put your ageless <laughs> entity in your hand and die. Yeah. Smell the roses! Wow. Smell the roses. As you can see, when it comes to aggro versus aggro, it is literally the better hand wins. Definitely. Most definitely. Uh, you know, and I like as much as I like to say, I'd, get, I'd like to start giving ratings to all these pre-constructed decks. Yep. Well, when you say that, I'm going to have to say, I would love to give this Phantasmal Image Power deck a solid 4 out of 5. Yeah. Because... This deck is consistent, as you can see. I play a lot of creatures, and it usually works. Um, how about yours? What do you give yours? I give this deck, with the three um, most efficient cards in this deck, I give these... Uh, th this deck works very well together. I give it a solid 4 out of 5, too. 4 out of 5? Yes. I mean, I don't like the life gain with, aspect. You can make yeah, that completely better. Uh, yeah, you can definitely make this deck completely better. Um, you know, what are the highlights? The, the Kurt 8, I can't find it. I, I, the Lightning Helix would have been cool if you didn't counter it. Lightning Helix is such a good card. <laughs> I can't even put it into enough words. But uh, what, what's the other uh, card that's like... You got Wild Nakano, Kurt 8, and Lone Lion, which are so good. They're just the definition of efficiency. But as you see, I didn't get, I didn't get a good hand. So, do, uh, you know, it, doing... Doing whatever you can, playing the best, it's not it's not going to work. You know, winning is winning, but at the same time... You gotta you have know, fun. Goose is right about this. It, it is the best hand, so you've got to have fun, exactly. Alright, and then uh, let's talk about the older games, yep. Yeah? How about this Nicobolas deck? I mean, I looked at it, and about half of it's pretty cool. Yeah. But you know, there's nothing in here that really functions before you hit 4 mana. Exactly. I mean... This is an extremely one-sided fight, as you guys saw. When he was playing the Nicobolas deck, and I was playing the Ajani Vengeance deck, <laughs> I had that one moment where he got my Wooly Thoctar, but I was like, yeah. nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna have it back and then kill you with it. Yeah, it was like, what the, it was like, what the fuck moment. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty crazy, but I mean... That was it. Wizards, I'm not gonna get angry at you. You guys make good decks. This thing is focused on late game. This thing is focused on early game. You know, it's like goblins. Old Goblins was, I'm going to either win on turn three or die in style. Space Marines versus Orcs. There you go. There you go. Um, well, internet, it has been a fun day. Yes. I have done a lot. Stay tuned. We're going to open some other interesting goodies that Wizards has decided to sell to us. And until next time, internet, my name is Low Flying Goose. And Dub, signing out. Have a good night.